Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I just want to uh, re-echo my pleading to President Haka Inde Hichiyama. I want to re-echo my pleadings to President Haka Inde Hichiyama as well as uh, you know the entire government of the UPND and though the correction service, the, the you know I don't know if it's the parole board, whatever, to consider the, situ the, the situation of by Emelini Kabanshi. Um, I am pleading with President Aka Indeishlema to consider pardoning by Emelin Kavanshi. To consider pardoning by Emelin Kavanshi. By Emelin Kavanshi uh, is not a criminal. By Emelin Kavanshi is not a criminal. By Emelin Kavanshi is a sacrificial lamb. A sacrificial lamb, a woman that never got any money from the social cash transfer and yet she is inside serving a jail term people who have stolen big money millions of dollars they have stolen they are still out there some of them because they know how to steal they were clever some of them because you know they have got good lawyers, powerful lawyers representing them but otherwise they are the ones who are supposed to be in jail but Medin Kavan, she does not deserve to be in jail she doesn't deserve to be in jail in all fairness, in all whatever you can think of by Medin Kavan, she please, please, please by government but President Aka in the please consider this sister of ours. She's innocent. Yes, she abused the law. She abused the you know the office by you know pushing that uh, Zampost uh, gets the uh, the loan or oh, not the loan gets the money or the contract to distribute social cash transfer. But her intention was noble. Her intention was good. She didn't do that so that she can go to Zampost and get money from Zampost. And going further, even, you know, yesterday, last time I was talking about this and I said, even if money was, was, um, uh, was misappropriated at Zampost, uh, it is not her fault. Uh, somebody did reach out to me to say, even at Zampost, money was not stolen money was not stolen nonetheless the point is that Emeline Kawan she never stole money she's not like some of these other people that were giving contracts to certain companies so that they can go behind and get some kickbacks Emeline Kawan she didn't do that please Bahaka in the she's a Zambian she's our sister can we consider pardoning this woman? I'm sure she has learned her lesson. Um, uh, please, please, let us let us consider by Medin Kawanshi. She's not a criminal. That is really the, the, the basic uh, the basis the ba the basic point. She's not a criminal. Let the criminals go to jail. When those criminals, some of these criminals, we know them. When those criminals go to jail. Believe you me, I will come here and commend 
ba anti corruption commission or ba deki or ba kapokola i will commend you for a job well done i can't start pointing at this case and that case and that case but i know some of these cases people store people store uh, majority majority ka kabongo uh, you are asking uh, who stole them there is no one who stole as far as the social cash transfer money is concerned there was no one who stole money as far as the social cash transfer money is concerned the money that i'm talking about there was no stealing of money the only thing that happened is that the ministry contracted zampos to distribute social cash transfer and when they took it there uh, some of the money was not used immediately because Zampost had not received the schedule. So they did this and that, this and that, but there was no stealing. And the Merin Kawanshi never got a penny out of, uh, out of that money. The evidence is there. Anyway, uh, I want to move on. Uh, you know, I want to, uh, there is there are stories that are running on social media relating to uh, my lawyers and what happened today in court whereby you know um, the lawyer that was supposed to represent me in this matter did not come uh, to court i want to be honest to say i didn't expect uh, benjamin Muelwa to come to court today i didn't expect i didn't expect and uh, this is this is owing to the fact that you know but benjamin Muelo has been with me i want to outrightly say i am very grateful to our benjamin our benjamin uh Muelo. i want to be very very grateful the man has been there he has fought battles for me i cannot take away that and that's why i want i'm talking about this I don't want people to get a wrong picture about Benjamin Muelwa. I don't want people to get a wrong picture about him. He is a man that has been there for me. He, he has gone there, he has gone wherever. He really has been there for me. And I appreciate him for being there for me. And he has been there for me, not that I've been paying him. Uh, uh, millions or anything no it is basically him helping me basically him helping me he has fought for my bond he has fought for my release he has found the uh, you know abias corpus he has been there he has been in this house you know so i am really really grateful i don't want anyone to think over benjamin Merwa as somebody that has let me down no 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 even what happened today i am i was not bitter i was not upset no i do understand lawyers i mean that's their job being a lawyer is a profession meaning you are supposed to be paid for what you do and you cannot continue helping 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 at some point you may be reluctant at some point you may be reluctant at some point you may be tired to help but i'm very grateful i'm really really grateful so today even when i mean he didn't come really i was not expecting because somehow i had the feeling that you know uh, i i think he have over overstretched his say his uh, his generosity somehow i felt i have overstretched his generosity and that is why i didn't even call him because i was feeling embarrassed i was feeling embarrassed to even call him i mean a man that has been there and he has been helping you and he's not paying you i mean where do you even get the courage to start picking up a phone and say hey uh, council where are you i'm i'm here there is a matter you know and i want to say along with that i also want to commend other lawyers i want to commend you know um uh, chambaila you know who from um, um from uh, lukona and chambers he has been there for me I'm, I'm i'm really grateful very very grateful he was a man that i mean i'm, I'm so grateful to to them for benamake bizulu those are my all weather friends 
When I'm a Kebi Zulu, they have been my all weather friends. It is not today. From a long time, they have been there for me. Even during the time of our PFO, they were they were there for me. They are my good friends, and I am so grateful. Makebi Zulu, I always salute you. Jonas Zimba, I always salute you. I am always grateful to you people. Uh, Bota, I am very grateful. And even Griffin, Griffin, uh, my, is a is a young lawyer, very patient, very dedicated, very incisive, very sharp. I am I am grateful. I'm very very grateful. So the why I'm talking about this, I want to say that please 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 don't get it any wrong that I, I have. I have uh, a misunderstanding with my lawyers. No, I don't have a misunderstanding with my lawyers. I am, and I'm not saying my lawyers are not serious. No, sometimes you also have to look at your side. I think if there is any fault, if there is anyone to take a fault or to take a blame, it's me. Why me? Because. I'm the one that these people have just been helping, coming to my house in the middle of the night to defend me from the police. You know, I have caught them whenever the police have come and whatever, Livingstone, I mean, they have really been there. But you know, sometimes you just have to be fair. You have to be fair with your friends and say, come on, these my friends have, have helped me for too, for too long. And you give them a breathing space. That's basically what he, I tried to do today with what Benjamin I wanted to give him a breathing space and I'm giving him a breathing space so please get it very clearly I am just giving him a breathing space because the man has been there for me and surely I mean at, at one point you need to say however thank you very much so that is the situation that happened today it is a situation of me saying uh -uh, you have helped me thank you very much and I asked, you know, the magistrate to say, please, let us continue. Let us continue with the matter. They were asking me, where is he? I said, I can't really say anything. I will just ask this court that we continue. I couldn't talk too much about it. I just asked the court that we continue, we go ahead. I represent myself. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I hope this is not bordering on contempt or anything. Representing myself looked like it was going to be difficult. Not that I didn't have the questions, I had the questions, but surely I felt that it was not going to go well because it looked like there are different rules for when a lawyer is asking questions and when a pers in person you are asking questions. You know, where, for example, when a lawyer asks you, can you confirm yes and no, it is a yes and no. The witness responds by yes or no. But in my situation, I found that, you know, you ask a, a, a witness to give you a yes and no, he's giving you all sorts of things. And then, I mean, you are there, you are seeing the judge is writing. You try to protest to say, well, you may not like the, the answers, but uh, he's responding. So I felt uncomfortable, seriously. I felt uncomfortable and I said, okay, in this case, let me just retain a lawyer. I was going to represent myself. I don't. I didn't want to. I want. I don't want to bother people any longer with my cases. I don't want, and that's why I want to clear them, all of them. I just want to clear them and remain at peace. You know, I don't. I didn't want. I don't want to bother people with my cases. I want to to remain in peace. I want these cases to end, and I leave it there. That's it. That's it. I. This is this. Is really my. I don't want. I am not interested. So any of these cases that look like whatever, whatever will bring me start to stand in court. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. So unfortunately, it looked difficult that it was going to be difficult for me to represent myself, and therefore, I I asked for the, for an adjournment. And thanks to, to the court, I was granted that adjournment, and uh, the case is coming up. 
uh, I think on the 27th of uh, October, 27th, um, uh, what, what is the date? Let me, let me, let me just confirm that date because uh, I am a direct stalker. Yeah? So that case is coming up. It's coming, yeah, on the 22nd. It's coming up on the 22nd, 22nd uh, October. So I, I will have to speak to another lawyer to represent me. But as far as Benjamin Mola is concerned, I want to say I am really, really grateful. He has represented me uh, not for money, he has represented me to help me. But I'm saying I have overstretched their, uh, you know, their, their generosity. And you see, and this is what is makes me is making me even react the way I have done to these other people. Look, my position is I am a very open person. I am sure those of you who have been following me are not surprised that I'm talking about lawyers or failing to pay lawyers or failing, you know, because they don't charge me really. But at least, you know, just to buy even fuel, even just something, you give them even a little, even like a 5p, it is helpful, you know, but you, I don't give them anything. And that has been a problem. And why don't I don't give them anything? I don't give them anything because the people that I'm supposed to be helping, they give me nothing. And yet some of you, you come up and say, no, Tahal is for hire. Tahal is uh, uh, whatever. I mean, I tell you, I wish I could be hired. Because if I'm hired, at least I'll be paid. At least I'll be paid. Now, I don't get anything and this is why now I'm being in this predicament where I am feeling embarrassed to call a lawyer to say please come to court I am I'm in court I'm feeling embarrassed I'm feeling embarrassed and I've been saying this even here on social media and some of you have been kind enough to send me you know a kawan pin which I put for fuel to go to court you know but but those, there are those who are supposed to help me. There are those who are supposed to help me. Those that you are, look, you are helping. I mean, if a child, if a life of forever, when you are helping others, you also expect them to help you. They have not been help. They have not been helping me. And yet you call me no mshani na wadi, no whatever, whatever. But I come here and I'm telling you to say, look, I am, I am, I am stressed. I am stressed. And you come, but you still call me that. I like the, the article that was written by Zambia Observer. And one of the lines that he said, you know, he, he, he said, you know, I we think that when the curtains close, you know, Shkia, you know, goes, uh, remains with sleepless nights. And that is the truth. That is the truth. Because some of you think to say, no, no, he is not patient. Uh-uh. I tell you, when I switch off this camera, this camera, I switch it off, I remain alone. I'm in my office. This is my office at home. I stay here sometimes up to zero one. I'm just here thinking and what and what. Yes, believe you me, no doubt. No doubt. If uh, you see this face, you see a strong guy. No, no, no. It is not a reality. I have serious challenges such that, you know, sometimes I fail even just to get up. You are, you are failing to get out of bed. You know that situation where you are lying there and you are struggling to get up. You are like, what am I going to do? Where am I going to start? But then you pull yourself. When you hear Kia calls you, Daddy, uh, I'm ready to go to school. And you realize, oh, okay, I, I've got to stand up for this little child. You know, I need to stand up for this little child. You think of other children that you have and you are like, I need to stand up for that, for, 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 for my children. I need to be strong for them. I leave that reality a number of times. I leave that reality, a reality where you really, you are weighed down. You are weighed down. You know, I've got huge responsibilities. I've got extended families and what and what i tell you it's not easy it's not easy it's not easy and then when you do all that 
you are waking up you are waking up to go to court you are waking up to go to court every week i go to court twice in a, in a, every week twice i go to court twice i go to court every week on average this week i've been caught three times I was on court on Monday, I was caught on Wednesday, I was in, in court on uh, today, Friday. That is my reality. When am I going to work? When am I going to do anything? And then with my political status, who, where am I, what am I going to do? And this is why I've been crying to those very people that you, 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 know, you support, those very people that you say, no, 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 this, what, 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 what. And I'm telling you, some of these people they are so cold they are cold you would be telling him the problems the problems that you have and you will just be there very very untouched that's why allow me here to to say to commend Bamara Esther Lungu she has been she's a very good woman a good woman with a soft heart she has got an angel angel's heart a woman who would go, you know, in a pantry to go and get you, you know, food stuff, pack tomato, pack vegetables to give you. That for me, no matter what, you know, you can tell me, no, dad is not loyal, what, 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 you can say whatever you want. It's okay. But there are people that I always hold in high esteem. That woman, Raesta Lungo, she's, she's got a very good heart, very, very good heart. I don't know about uh, 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 Edgar Lungu. I don't know. No, I don't know. Seriously. It's not that uh, Edgar Lungu has never given me money. No. It's not that he has never given me money. But you know, you should. a person should be reactive to the situation of the other. A person, a good person should be reactive, should be sensitive to the situation of the other person. He should be. People who are so cold, I mean, no, 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 I, I mean, and, and like today somebody, I was, I was talking to some of these people, you know, anyway, let me not, let, let me not go too much on that, I'll just leave that, I'll, I'll leave, I'll leave that one at, at that. My point is, appreciating my lawyers, that you have really been there, and I'm sorry that I've let you down, because in certain cases, really, I should have done something better, but I haven't. I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful uh, to Joseph uh, Chirwa. Joseph Chirwa is one of the lawyers that uh, has come on board. I, I'm so grateful. I am really grateful to Joseph Chirwa. I'm really grateful. Joseph Chirwa also is one lawyer that I'm not paying. But I've liked his commitment. Joseph Chiwa is a guy, you have a case on Monday. Friday is telling you, Monday we have a case. Friday is telling you, Monday we have a case. Saturday he's telling you, we have a case on Monday. S Sunday he's telling you, we have a case. In the evening, 20 hours he's texting you, President, we have a case tomorrow. And if he's going to another case, you know, if he's got another case and whatever, whatever, he will tell you, you are going with this one and what and what and what and what. Instead of me calling, you know, counsel, where are you? Where are you? He has been the one calling me. And I am very humbled. Very, very humbled. I'm very grateful. Very, very grateful. Very grateful. I am grateful to all my lawyers. I am really grateful. Going forward, I want to do away with all these court cases. I want to do away with all these court cases. I, I really don't want this, this court cases. My, my cases are political. It is as a result of my politics that I'm in, in this situation. And this is why I'm speaking to some of the complainants. This is why I even went and spoke to uh, Chief Mukun. Chief Mukuni never gave me any condition. A lot of you people here have been saying, hey, Chief Mukuni, Chief Mukuni, Chief Mukuni never gave me any condition whatsoever. There was no condition. The man was gracious. No condition whatsoever. 
So I feel bad when I someone read to say, hey, Chief Mukuni brainwashed you. Chief Muk no, he never said anything. We didn't even discuss politics. I've also engaged other people. I've engaged the police over that assault issue. I've, I've engaged them. I mean, frankly speaking, even these other cases, if I could settle them, I would rather settle them. It is not that I am scared to say whatever, whatever, hey, I'm going to go to jail. Uh -uh. It's not about that. It's not about that. It is, you know, going to court is stressful. Going to court is very stressful. It doesn't matter how long, how, how many times you have been in court. I've been in court many times. It's like court, I work there. But each time I am going to court, I don't even eat breakfast. My wife will tell you. Each day I'm going to court, I don't even eat breakfast. I fail to eat breakfast. I don't have the, I don't have the, the appetite. You go to court, you go to court, I mean, the atmosphere is just different. When you go to the, into the dock, it is, every day that you go into the dock, you feel different. It is not to say you are scared or you are looking at your case to say, but if I stay uh-uh. Court is just court. Court is stressful. Even people that are whatever, whatever, when you go to court, it's just different. It is very stressful. It gives you certain emotions. So why prolong it? Why should I co you know, continue? If I can manage to finish a case today, why should I continue you know, going to court, going to court, just because I'm, I'm feeling to say, no, my case is okay. My case is strong. Uh, my position is strong. So court is just stressful. And I'm saying this, that even you know, some of you can learn. Some of you can learn something. Trust me, if you can sort out your case before the judgment day, it's better. It's better. And that is my, that is my disposition. That is my disposition. And clearly, it's different. I'm going, to, I'm going to approach politics differently. I don't want anything to do with court, something that will take me to court. I don't want. I don't want. And I don't want to fight government. Yes, sorry, I know, I know you, I mean, you, you, you like me for my courage and whatever, whatever, I want to do it different. I don't want to fight government. I don't want to, uh, no, 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 I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, because at the end of the day, the pressure that you go through is just too much. And the people that cheer you, they are never there with you. So if you want, you can call me coward. You used to call me courageous, courageous. If you want change, say a coward guy. It's okay. It's okay. Because really, the stress is just too much. And this is not just with you, PND. Uh -uh. Even Muliba Lungo, it was the same. I used to suffer the same. I think I've suffered a little bit too much. A little bit too much Nakuma Koti in speaking for, for people. It is not that I'm not going to offer checks and balances. I'll offer checks and balances. I'll offer checks and balances. I will hear your issues. I will talk about the minimum wage. I will it's not that I will not. I will talk about the minimum wage. I will talk about lack of medicines in hospitals. I will do. I will talk about lack of employment. I will do that. But I'll do it differently. I'll do it differently such that I don't attract AMA court cases. I don't attract AMA court cases because I've learned my lessons. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.